Hi there, this is Forces Lesson 12, and this is the turning effect of forces. It's, it's a straightforward video, this not very difficult. Um, it's basically one of three for, for moments or turning effects, either or. So the objective of this one is to recall and apply the equation uh, for moments to physical problems. So what is the moment of a force? So the moment of a force is also known as the turning effect of a force. And the moment of a force about any point is defined as the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the pivot, which might seem a little bit strange, but once we look at some questions and some diagrams, it should make perfect sense. So moment is F times D. It's measured in Newton meters, because obviously moment is force times distance. Force is in Newtons and distance is in meters. So moment is Newton meters. And moments are uh, uh, designated a direction and they're either clockwise or anti-clockwise. So as an example, so there's a force F, and as you can see, that force F is perpendicular to this distance D, to the pivot, which is this point there. So it's the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the pivot, this is the pivot, and it would produce an anti-clockwise moment, because as, as that, that arm pulls up that in that direction, pulling that way. So that would be anti-clockwise, or ACW. Remember to pause at any point if you want to make any notes. Let's move on. So there's a question if you want to have a go. So pause it. So calculate the moment exerted with the claw hammer if the person exerts a force of 80 newtons and distance D equals 25 centimetres. So... The moment is the force times distance. So the force is 80, and we've got a distance of 25 centimetres. But remember, moment is measured in newton metres, so we need to turn the 25 centimetres into metres. So 80 times 0 0.25. And then it will go clockwise. So we've got 20 newton metres clockwise. As you can see, a force pulling in that direction would rotate in this direction which is a clockwise direction. Another thing that you need to know is that a turning effect is a, a vector quantity, so its direction is really important, hence the, you know, the clockwise and the anticlockwise. All right, let's move on. So just some questions. So I'll calculate what's missing. So let's pause and have a go, and then I'll take you through the answers. So I'll do that now. So a moment, remember, is, I'm just going to write this at the top, moment is force times perpendicular distance. There we go. So first one, moment is FD, so we need to do 40 times 3. So that'll be 120 newton metres. Uh, this middle one, so we need distance, so a moment is force times distance. So I'm just going to do this at the bottom, I'll call this question 2. So a moment is FD. So let's put the numbers in. So the moment is 1,000 newton metres. So 1,000 equals the force, which is 200, times distance D. So we need to make D the subject. So we need to get rid of the times 200. So that would just be 1,000. And we need to do the opposite of times in by 200, which is dividing by 200. 1,000 divided by 200 gives us 5 metres. Hopefully that one went okay. So the next one. So we're looking for force, so I'll call that number three. So the moment is force times distance, FD. So the moment this time is 200 equals F, which is what we're looking for, times distance of four meters. So once again, we need to get rid of a times by four, so let's divide by four. So that's 200 divided by four, will give us the force in Newtons. So that gives a force of, 50 newtons. Last one, straightforward. So number four. So a moment is force times distance, FD. So the force on this one is 3,000 multiplied by a distance, and this distance is given in centimetres, so we need to convert that into metres, so divide by 100. So it'd be 3,000 multiplied by 0 0.2 metres. So that will give us a moment 600 newton meters relatively straightforward then 
Hopefully you found that one okay. So let's finish on the next slide. So if you want to have a go at this one, you can pause and have a go now without the keywords. I'm going to put the keywords on in a second. And then I'll take you through the answers. So this is a nice consolidation. So the moment of a force is another name for the turning effect of a force. The moment of a force is equal to the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the turning point. Turning effect is measured in Newton meters. And moments can be either clockwise or anti-clockwise. So that video is relatively straightforward. It's a good introduction. Uh, so next is stability and the one after that will be the principle of moments where the, the difficulty is ramped up quite significantly. So if you found that introduction useful, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.